していた第4王者、right, レバルトは深夜に何者かの襲撃を受けた。そこに駆けつけた友人のフレドレック、銃車のアンドリアズにかばわれ、なんとか館を脱出する。しかし、待ち伏せに遭い、レバンティアは強人に倒れてしまう。あとは頼むと言い残し、息を引き取った。力なく垂れ下がるレバンティアの手には次期国王の証し聖魂が刻まれていた Alright, so this game did come out with a demo I took a look at it for a second but it was on my PS5 I didn't know I didn't really play it too much. I just looked at the beginning, and on here I did take a look at just the settings so I could、um, see if everything was looking good before we got started. So let's take a look at this. We're gonna put it on hard. Leave the brightness where it's at. I think it should be fine. Let's take a look at it. Inochi no kotowari. Rescue mission condition, victory condition, defeat all enemies,、uh, defeat condition, all allies defeated. Okay, so I don't think that's gonna happen. But we'll see how this.、Um, I think it plays like.、Uh, it has like the real time tactical、uh, battle, so it's like Pillars of Eternity,、um, like games like that, so. I'm a little bit familiar with it, but we'll see how it works. Kitomas, Yojin no Ampio, Kakonin Suzo, Basha Yoka. So we need to be sure that the bandit's target hasn't come to harm to the carriage, alright? WASD moves the camera, select unit, drag, same, same stuff. L shift. Left plus shift designation sets a waypoint. Also, I'm saying both both mouth button or the left shift sets a waypoint. Okay. Control is order all. Got you. Let's see. Pretty simple so far. Kega wa arimasen ka? Anata tachi wa. 
ひとまずは傭兵とだけお伝えします傭兵ではこの場をお任せしても報酬はもちろんお渡ししますそれともしもの時はこれを使ってくださいお任せくださいそれでは何だお前らそいつをこっちに渡せ予定通りだねリアズこの後の段取りは覚えてる Says F1 and attack. The unit will go after the specified enemy. Once they are in range, they will start attacking automatically. Attack from behind is an ambush.、Uh, ambush attack deals greater damage than normal attacks. Don't let enemies approach from the rear. Okay, it's just like flanking. Gotcha. Enemy detection range. When setting a destination for a unit, Enemy's detection range will be displayed. Any unit that enters this range will be spotted. Ah, that's a good one. Monday, that's a good one. It says this displays your next objective. M is the battle status overview. Check the status of a battle from overhead. Why would I do this? This may come in handy if one of your units is incapacitated. Or if you want to try a different approach. Alright. I'll just hit the button to see what it looks like. Uh, no, don't like that. Bro, can I get out of this mode? Please. Select checkpoint if you want to restart. Yeah. I don't like this map though, bro. Alright, there we go. So yeah, I hit a waypoint and then I hit the attack when you get behind them. It might change, but we'll see. You dummy. Come back here. Then attack. Yuki. Let's find ways to hit as many of them as we can at once. The commands skills are items assessed by the command menu. Alright, so that's the space bar. Skills are used by spending EP, AP. Each skill has a cooldown. Try using your skills to attack the enemy. Gotcha. Very much so already. Yeah, we're ready. Alright, let's see. Space. Oh no. Assassination. Get out of there. We have two. How many people? Okay, it's three. So I want you to go. 
shift. Oh shit. Um, shift. 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 Then I want you to go. Okay, we got a shield bash, so she should be stunned, right? If a character has a status effect, they will suffer from various effects such as reduced movement speed or regular damage. You can tell which status. Yeah, we got that. Matter of fact, can you just kill him real quick? No, 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 bro. Bro, get back over here. Sumiya can you Okay, we're gonna hit the special on them right here. Full frontal assault. No, you. Oh, hold on. Bro, he about to get the potion. Confirm. Assassination right here. Taisho Gek. Oh man, we are not gonna make it. <laughs> We're gonna get killed right here on the first fight. My man is already almost dead, and everybody else is too. Defeating enemies will fill up your TP gauge. The TP gauge is filled in three stages. What does that mean? Magalumic orbs are extremely powerful. When you use open commands with space and select what? to attack it. Okay. Hit this. Bro, get that. No, 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 no. You, get that. Thank you. Now, I need you to go here. I need you to go here. Then I need you to hit this. Right on these three. Oh. Nice. 
No need to fight them. We had the uh, we had the dragon in store or whatever that's called. We got leveled up. Let's check it out. Let's see what we got next.助かりました。あなたたちは。私の名はフレドレクトレスター。こっちはアンドリアズ・ロンダーソン。そしてもう一人がアイゼリア・ヴィガンです。我々はヴィガン家に身を寄せているものです。私はロレイン・ルクシオ
Let's get you some equipment. Yeah, let's do that. One of our assistants is there, so please speak to them. And she's gonna give us another orb. You're okay. Hold down to dash. Open the menu, this tab. From here you can access customization and system settings. Your current main quest will be displayed on the left. Bad. Progressing through the main quest will advance the story. Completing all the quest objectives will earn you various rewards. You can check your current quest from the quest list of the main menu. So we hit tab. The mercenary unit will grow stronger as you complete quests. Doing so will increase the unit rank and allow you to earn rewards and perks. Keep an eye out for special quests that will raise your badge rank, allowing you to obtain perks and upgrade facilities. Move the cursor over a mission to display the detail. All right. Each element of the Blue Fox badge can be upgraded. Increasing various ranks will confer the following. Meal rank. Skill tree rank, shop rank, weapon, weapons for development, mag illumic orb. We just gonna call it the mag orb. And engravings for mag orb. Alright. So this is to select an option quest. Alright, so I guess that's the one. Check quest. This is the quest. This is the rankings. I guess we can rank up. This is the little shillings we got. Alright. System. Map. You can view a map for each floor. And warp between rooms. We good. All right. They said hit what to dash. It wasn't tab. It wasn't shift. E. All right. Let's talk to this chick. What's up, girl? Free time is best spent on training. Better yourself. It's nice. Where are we supposed to go, though? Tab. Talk to the shop assistant. Is there going? All right. Well, where is that at? Oh, this looks nice. Look at this. So, yeah, so. Trying to find the person I need to get a hold of. Well, we got some new outfits, some rings, some trinkets. You are the quest person. Let me talk to you. Oh. Don't worry, Lorraine briefed me on the situation. Allocated this weapon. Ah, no. But it beats anything you'll find in town. Oh. I'm becoming a Duke's hand. That's quite the luck. I suppose you can say that. Yes. I got a feeling you're destined for great things. Let's give our best for the unit. <laughs> I'm sure I don't need to tell you, but you'll have to equip that weapon if you want to use it. Got it. <clears throat> Open the equipment menu so we go to tab. And then, okay, this is unlocked now. From the equipment menu, you can customize weapons, accessories, items, and mag orbs. Each piece of equipment is a rarity level 
and rare pieces tend to be more powerful. Weapons can provide the following effects, boost the unit's attributes, enables use of weapons skills, different characters can equip different types of weapons. Equipping an accessory can boost a unit's attribute. Didn't we just say that? Grant a new passive skill and a unit can equip up to two accessible at once. Got you. Select the character. What is, okay, we can go here, right? What is this? Accessories, what is this though? She gets the ring, what is it? A recruits bangle. Results. Increases XP by 50% up to level 15. Passive is start dash. Alright. But do we need it on this person? Sword, we got a new sword. Enchanted Beast Killer. Bro, we definitely going with that. And then let's go change character. Bro, you ain't got nothing, I'm sorry. You don't got nothing either. Okay, who's the mercenary? Can we add this to select? Okay, so we only have the one. Okay, I gotta go check on Fred and Izzy. Okay, once we get over here, um, we'll get over here to these guys and then uh, we'll call it for the first episode. Um, it looks like it's gonna be a pretty decent um, real time tactical game. Uh, once we get into the story, we'll see exactly. Um, what it's going to bring to the table as far as any differences from the other games that we played. Um, if you guys do think that this is something that you'd like to see me continue to put on my um, channel, I'm probably going to do that anyway. But if, if you guys uh, hit that thumbs up, I really appreciate it. Um, if you do like any of the content that I've been putting out or if you have any requests for any other games that you want me to check out, um, just put the comments down below. Um, please hit that like, subscribe, and um, that notification bell so then that way if I do go live um, that you can catch those streams and I do really appreciate it and I'm thinking I'm going to sign off and chalk with them deuces so uh, thank you and goodbye